This past week, I want you to know that your organization, the National Education Association, was invited to the Department of Education to meet with the new Secretary of Education. Hasn't happened in a long, long time. And this morning, your organization was invited to be at the White House for the signing of executive orders, along with the labor leaders from across this country, where our president said he did not believe that labor and unions were the problem, but they were part of the solution, that you can't have middle-class America without strong unions. I mean, how exciting. Change is here. Transformation is possible. And what makes it so special to me is it fits exactly with where we want to go as the National Education Association. It fits exactly into our theory of success of what we have to do. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard this said, but have you maybe heard someone ask the question, why in the world do we spend all this time, energy, and money in the political arena. Have you heard that? <laughs> Maybe once or twice? But there's such a logical answer for that. It's our theory of success. Why in the world would we spend so much time and energy on electing pro-public education politicians? Why do we need these decision makers, policy makers, who believe in public education. Well, to me, it's very logical. Because once you have that, what we believe they will do is develop good public policy and investment in education. That's why we work so hard. Because that's what the natural consequence is. And if we're lucky enough to elect pro-education decision makers, and they change public policy, like No Child Left Behind, and tax policies, and economic growth, and funding for education, and class size. All of those policies that need to be changed, what we believe will then happen is that we will have different strategies and practices dealing with students. Whether they be pre-K to 12, or they be in junior colleges and four-year institutions. We need to change what's happening to students in America. And if we have good public policy and investment, that's what will happen. That's where we define our whole teacher quality and ESP quality work. It's what we do as an organization. And why do we do all that? Because the natural consequence is student learning will increase. And if student learning increases, so will the support of public education. And if the support of public education grows, it will be easier to elect pro-public education politicians. A reinforcing loop that one helps the next, helps the next. 